Hi everyone, this is Scrappy Jess and I have my design team project for you for the Creative Critters Imaginations design team. This week we are being sponsored by My Pink Stamper and I have the happiest moment set here to share with you. Aren't those cute? Oh, I just love these. I'm so excited. I just loved opening that envelope and pulling out my brand new stamps. They've got a sentiment on here for everything. Happy Halloween, Happy New Year, Graduation, Valentine's Day. And the one I'm going to use is Happiest Winter. So I'm going to open up my stamps. Haven't even opened them yet. Oh, I love these. My favorite stamps come with this back sheet that's attached so it just goes over to protect them. Oh, these are nice. Alright, let's see. I'm just going to load up my block because I'm too excited not to. There we go. We'll get the rest of our card started. I've got a four and a quarter by 11 sheet of black cardstock. It was eight and a half by 11 and it was cut in half the long ways. And I'm just going to fold this. And I'm actually going to use my stamp block because my bone folder is downstairs and I don't want to walk down to get it. So we've got this and in honor of my pink stamper, I'm doing a fun winter card, but I'm doing it all in pink stamper type colors. Aren't those cute? Let's see, this paper is by... Mm. I'll tell you what, I'll post it underneath because I don't want to say the wrong name. I picked it up at a craft bazaar. And... So I'll just, I'll put it on the bottom of your screen if you want to know. But it's super cute. I really like it. Let's see. I just applied some ATG tape. And tape this down. And then I have my little straight. This is four inches by five and a quarter. And then this is one and three quarters inches by five and a quarter. And I'm at the very end of my ATG roll, so sorry about that. It's a little harder than usual. I want this down here at the very bottom. Make sure I line it up right. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I want my ribbon to go around. So I'm just going to cut the tiniest of little slivers out. See? Teeny tiny little sliver. And then pull my ribbon through. Just like so. You never know. I got a ribbon scrap stuck to that. My desk is a mess. I was too busy over Thanksgiving weekend crafting. I didn't have time for cleaning. Move this and tie a quick square knot. I think I fuddled up. I want my knot on the other side. I kind of have an idea of how I want this to lay out. There we go. Easy fix. And just pull. And I'm going to cut this at an angle. I like cutting polka dot ribbon at an angle because you got your little guidelines right there. There we go. Alrighty, and using my new favorite cartridge, I use Snow Angel. I cut the stocking out at three and a half inches. And see, I've got my little notes on here. 
I used RGB codes to match the pinks so that they would be fairly similar. So if you want to use these codes, red is 255, green is 13, and blue is 170. And that'll give you the same hot pink. So I have my, where'd my zip dry go? I may not have it in here. That's alright, we'll use dimensionals. I will put a couple dimensionals on here. There we go. Kind of line this up. And I just took a black sharpie to outline my stocking and I used the Swiss Dots Cuddle Bug folder to give it a little bit of interest. and now we get to stamp on it. So I'm just going to use my archival black ink pad. This thing works really hard. This is my ink pad for just about everything. Right here down at the bottom I want to stamp Happiest Winter. Oh those stamps so nice. See that? I'll take a picture of it. Alright, well, in honor of Robin, my pink stamper, and you guys, and these wonderful stamps, here is my fun wintertime card. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys again soon. Bye.